Uh, good morning, it's Tuesday the 28th of January. I'm back in the Peak District, but this time I'm really in the south, far southwest as you can go. I'm just parked up in a car park in the village of Gradback. at about 10 kilometers uh, north of Leek. And the intention is from here to do a big figure of S um, up towards the village of Danebridge and then towards Upper Hume, Upper Hume sorry, and hopefully ending up on the little climb up on the Roaches tonight where I hopefully wow camp and then uh, end up back here tomorrow. The weather is just on freezing, the forecast is due sun and wintry showers. On the drive across here today as I got into the peaks there's a light dust and of snow everywhere um, but it's nice. Hopefully uh, immediately on the way to Danebridge I want to go and look at a chasm called Ludge Church and then another quite famous feature around this part is called Hanging Rock. So that's the intention, out for at least 24 hours and a wild camp uh, but we'll see what the weather's like towards the day uh, as the day progresses. Alright then, see you in a bit. I've been going about 20 minutes now, we've got a light dust in the snow but I don't think it's going to get any worse than this, um, might get a bit heavier and the main thing to look out for today will be the wind chill which will keep it down around the freezing or just below the freezing point um, so we'll make a decision on wild camping later on today but we should be okay. Um, first place I want to get to as mentioned before is Ludge Church, name's going to be up now, um, google it um, loads of history about the place first used in about the 15th century apparently loads of myths and legends it was a popular place for climbers um, but um, it's, it's basically stopped climbing it now because of the way the sandstone is but again I'm not going to try and teach you about or talk about it I should say because all the information is on Google and Wikipedia but we've got to try and find it amongst this wood. Uh, so I'll get back once we find it. Uh, we've been steadily uh, just following the wood line on a zigzaggy track come to the top of you know, it's the top of the, uh, the little hill not a mountain a little hill and it brings you to this thing here which according to the map I believe is the entrance to Ludd's church um, so let's go have a look inside Hey, that's us in the centre of Ludge Church now. Um, it's about 100 metres long and about 50 feet high. 
and you can really feel the temperature drop once you come through it and it's so quiet super quiet as I said there's lots of myths and legends about this place um, I think it was earliest used in the 15th century as a secret church um, how it's formed it's either, it's either limestone or sandstone and that's on layers of mud and that's what's caused the slips but again Wikipedia will give you exact uh, more details of the place it used to be used for climbers which I suppose you've got pretty good climbs up there but uh, they've put it out of bounds now really because it's a bit too dangerous for climbing I'm walking through the first part and they had like World War One trench duck boards down so it was that muddy but it's super quiet and pretty cold um, pretty eerie really Lodge Church though good stuff bit uh, brief we're now walking along the ridge towards hanging stone and um, down there is where blood church was so we're going to push along the ridge along here and that's when the s comes in there and we're going to be dropping down towards the village of dane bridge then moving down towards the reservoir which is just down there before we start coming back up again onto the top of that high feature there which is the roaches. Um, I'm glad to be on the high ground now. Pretty bumpy down the road up there. Uh, pretty windy up here as well. A bit weird. All that has not got any snow on. And if you look to the right, all covered in snow. That's about quarter past ten now, we just off, dropped off the ridge, <laughs> it's nice to be out of the wind, it's pretty blustery up there. Um, a couple of metres along that way is Hanging Stone, then you keep going um, beyond Hanging Stone, i.e. heading east, or west I should say, um, you come to the village of Dane Bridge. Because of timings, I'm not sure I want to get to Dane Bridge. Um, we're going to push south and keep going past Swim Hamley Hall down heading towards the village of Upper Hume which is on the bottom side of the roaches I'm trying to get up the roaches that way bear in mind it's half ten um, it gets dark half four I think last night last night 1627 I've got a bit of a climb on the roaches so ideally you want to be up there by at least half three so we'll take it from there because we're not actually in um, now we're off here yeah. we're in arable arable farmland so once we get past Angus Stone the going should be pretty easy anyway um, pretty flat um, almost the farmland so shall we go but it's looking to be out see you in a bit
apologies for the next um, video or two. Stupidly as normal, I'd left the mute button on my uh, camera. But all I'm explaining on this video is that I just moved past Hanging Stone, which was the big rock I'd walked past. And I was going to be moving down into the arable farmland. Um, and I wasn't going to go to the village of Danebridge because uh, of timings. So again, apologies uh, for the lack of a... Uh, for, for, for no sound, but uh, you can still enjoy the views. Again, apologies, uh, the camera was still on mute because I, I was flicking um, from mute to normal because of the wind. On this video, I'd actually stopped for lunch. I was explaining, I was now moving through the farmland uh, and I was being overwatched quite zealously, um, I think by a gamekeeper with a shotgun. However, I knew I was on a public footpath. One, because <laughs> I knew where I was. And two, uh, he never sent off into me. And three, there's a prominent path with a bench where I put my rucksack and I ate my lunch. So again, that's all this video's for. Just showing you I was moving through the uh, arable farmland um, via uh, public footpaths. Again, apologies, it's on mute. But uh, again, you can enjoy the scene. Again, this should be the last video with no sound. Um, at this point, I've been moving for about a couple of hours across the arable farmland, and I was hoping then to move past the roaches to the southern end to go to the village of Upper Hume and have a cup of coffee. But a kilometre short of Upper Hume, just past the gate called Roaches Gate, there's a farm called Paddock Farm. And in there, they just opened a new tea room. So I just jumped in there for a cup of coffee and something to it, I think a sausage roll I had. It was very nice, but it saved that extra couple of kilometres of moving to and from Upper Hume back to the roaches. Because um, I had about an hour or two of daylight to hang about and it would be windy on the roaches. So Paddock Farm Tea Room, lovely place. Just past through Roaches Gate now, moving up. I did go to a room in the end. I've got a case short in a place called Paddock Farm. It's actually uh, a little tea room. It's not quite cool. And now, 
another four casters right behind me. Some pretty skanky. We are forecasting more snow. That's going to be back in two hours. And then that should disappear as well as the wind. It should die down to about 1700. But last light about 1630, 4.30 in the afternoon. So uh, we're going to have to get up some time. Maybe uh, we'll get to get some time to get I'll be walking past the summit tomorrow morning on the way to the car. So I think we're going to have to get up there and find somewhere to shelter. cliff edge it had a beautiful view but with this wind being on the cliff edge I just didn't fancy it with a 60 foot drop uh, the actual summit is only a couple hundred meters so I've come off the actual path a bit and I'm actually um, a bit of danger as well down here I've still got a beautiful view you can see behind me but as you can see what's coming in I'm just going to give it 10 minutes to see if we get away with it or we'll start put, uh, pitching the tent um, the wind should be dropping, but if it doesn't drop, at least I'm somewhere safe. I mean, that was a beautiful view, but a bit too risky in this wind. Um, I mean, the clag's coming in again now, so I think we'll let this pass for about 10 minutes, uh, for a couple of minutes, then we'll start pitching the tent. Okay, I'll see you when we're all pitched up. So we just got set up just in time. Another bank is just got a snotty nose, sorry. Another bank's just come across. Uh, but I can see a clear sky behind the so as the forecast said, about another two hours of squally, snowy showers, and then it should uh, the wind should die down. Uh, so we'll just batten down the hatches, and then we'll start thinking about getting some dinner on. Um, top tips though, if you ever do get a new tent, um, it was very windy putting this up, uh, but I'm used to putting this up. Always practice putting it up before you come out, because uh, that was truly testing trying to put that up. But we got it done. See you in a bit. I, I think I did my old trick on the way across the beaches. Uh, we was trying to look for a camping spot or a place to pitch, I should say. Was, uh, I left the mic on me, so I'm looking at Serious sight to take me for that's that squalls. Wind to the moment about 40 miles an hour, 40 miles per hour, I should say. Oh, that's good. 
I'll say they should die down by about six o'clock. It's quarter to five now. Um, but that's where we are. Got a lovely view. I did uh, post my old grad, obviously I had the phone off. I did have a lovely spot further back that way. Um, but it's too dangerous. It's right on the edge. But it'd be brilliant. Um, the actual summit to the reaches is literally a couple of metres that way. So we'll bag that in the morning. Both of them will die down a bit now, which will allow me to get cooking. And then uh, we'll take it from there. See you later. It's just gone half six now. Uh, had my evening meal, that was nice. Some onion mash, burgers and onion gravy, some beans. Um, stopped snowing and raining, and, but the wind's dropped to about 24. It's going to be like this throughout the night. But it's gone clear, so uh, the wind chill's about minus three, four out there. So pretty chilly. Um, I've done a, a check of the guy ropes and pegs, they're all cool. So I'm just going to watch a film or two now. And then do a final check of the tent uh, before I get to sleep for the night. Uh, and I said the forecast is uh, might get some rain, but the wind is going to be like this now, really, until uh, I finish the whole walk. Okay then, see you later. Uh, good morning, it's quarter past seven. Um, and it was not a bad night actually. The wind never stopped, it just kept. Uh, just kept coming and coming and coming um, and I think now we've just got like a sheet of a dusting of snow outside uh, so it's not too bad uh, we'll go up about three o'clock just to check the guy ropes everything was fine so uh, nice and toasty inside here I think it got to about minus four with the wind chill uh, but absolutely fine so now I'm going to have some breakfast some porridge and a cup of coffee uh, first lights about five to eight so then the first light start to collapse and then start the short journey back via the summit of the roaches uh, and we'll start moving on and uh, we'll pack up and get sorted out after some breakfast okay then see you in a bit yeah so it's a bit blowy out there um i don't think it's been snowing it's just a very very light dusting um, it must be sunny like it was yesterday. Right then, that's what we'll do. We'll have our porridge, which is already in there, just some water, some coffee, and then we'll pack up and then we'll get going. Alright then, see you in a bit. Yeah, we broke camp about 10 minutes ago. I've got the sun.
summit of the roach is about, I'd say about 300 metres ahead of me and then from there we keep just keep going a straight line or slightly um, yeah straight line really and that'll take us to the area of the wood where Ludge Church was yesterday where we started um, I'll be thankful to get out this wind really because no matter where you went yesterday um, trying to find someone to pitch I've been in it since about 2 o'clock um, but it's been good so we'll go and back this summit now and then hopefully uh, get back down into the wood line and we'll find our way back to where we started in Grad Church see you in a bit Finally, out the wind. Right then, I've dropped off the roaches now. This is behind me. Just jumped onto this public uh, uh, bridleway, which will take me down to the corner of the wood of where I started. Uh, well, where, we didn't really start, where Ludge Church, Ludge Church was. This is that big wood on the mountainside. I will zigzag, zigzag our way back through that. So, this is me now, just going to break off through this little wall, try and squeeze through that, get to the wood, uh, there's millions of tracks, get me burns on to get to the wood, pick up the track and then we'll head our way down the hillside back towards really where we started. Okay then, see you in a bit. Right, yesterday, as I left Grad Church, I come down that track there and through the gate. And obviously, this is not normally as deep as this, but this is where it crossed. But as I started pushing up the path there, on the right hand side down there, which is not on the old um, map, I noticed the footbridge. So that's the way I'm going today. Uh, I don't fancy going back again across those rocks, because yesterday it was a bit. Uh, with the old balance and that with the two sticks. So we'll go along this track, we'll get to the footbridge. Hello, last video, about 500 metres short of uh, where I parked the car, which is in a little car park, just before you get to Gradback Mill, which is behind me. Um, lovely, 26, 27 hours, just coming up to 10 o'clock now. Absolutely love that. Uh, cheeky conditions, very windy, but super happy with how everything went. Did about 17 mile throughout the last, well, yesterday in this little bit today I've ascended 3,570 feet uh, throughout the walk which is cool good to get out of the old big bag in the tent again because I'm 
Cottrell Way is going to be like starting at the 4th of April, so it's good to get some more mileage back in the legs with the, with the old weight. So I'm super happy how it all went, really, really am. Um, forecast was bang on, bar the winds didn't subside as much as, as anticipated, but hey ho, you can't have everything. So hope you enjoyed it, I certainly did. Um, looking forward to the next one, everyone be safe.